Back in Guam, I went to visit Vanjie. What do you mean, no fish? We caught two fish. Were they even big? Well, go back and shoot some more. I can't shoot some more, Vanjie. <laughs> Why not? Well, maybe it's you, Dad. And they're all here, <laughs> and we're we're making a complete circle now. Hi. And so our Palawan brothers come to Seti Bay. It is the point where this story started. Okay, Vanjie, he's doing his job. I miss Fran. It is too easy to get lost in the lushness of the Kanata Ranch, so we needed to take care of business right away. So you guys think we're gonna catch fish today? Are we gonna catch fish today? Yeah, of course. Saki? Yes. I'm gonna catch one, no matter what. So we decided previously that the point of Seti Bay at the Kanatas was really not so much about fishing than it was about the Chamorro spirit and the spirit of fiesta. So we were just going to take the boat out to a certain buoy and come right back and if we didn't catch anything, fine, because there was a spread waiting. How can catch fish if you have no beer? Come on, buoy. <laughs> We cast some lines. Telling the world. As I struggled to keep the sea spray off my camera and lens, I thought about something Banji said to me. Can you please shave and clean up? You're making all of us look like we're unprofessional here. <laughs> Believe it, we snagged a fish. It was as though the mahi-mahi we lost in Saipan had found us on Guam and was attempting to murder us. <laughs> we were never so happy than to see a fish dead, gutted, and cooked. I am uh, cutting the fish up so that it will cook evenly, and that, that's why you cut it up. Put salt on it. And then we went, we got local lemon. See, Tom Kinata, Guiza, no gumagali i lemon, i lalangita. Quanto necesita? Uno ha. Pinachesa. Put some lemon over it, and then we just stuck the lemon, the rind, and everything in the in the cavity of the fish, and and just all over the fish. So we uh, wrapped up the, uh, the the fish with the banana leaf, 
and then we Chamorro wrap. Chamorro wrap, and then we wrapped up the uh, Chamorro wrap, shiny Chamorro wrap <coughs> with, with foil. And so what it does is it prevents the fish from overcooking. This is made from fish skin. Saki, hey. how do you feel about fishing in Saipan? Uh, cool. Just a uh, different experience. What was different about it? Uh, it's kind of hard to find fish, I guess. What about in Guam? In Guam, uh, almost the same. Did you enjoy fishing in Guam? Uh, yes, I did. Actually, the, the place that's not much surface not right now. But it looks like the, before they have a lot of fish, but maybe they're overfishing. But since the palace still have a lot of fish. We're here today uh, to celebrate what little we have and work towards uh, conserving and um, uh, keeping it for our kids and our kids' kids. Up next, our episode concludes. The story continues at www.micronesiachallenge.org where you can learn more about the people you just met as well as the efforts of preserving the thousands of species of fish, plants, and wildlife in Micronesia. There are downloadable teaching modules for schools as well as an online video storytelling academy by Dan Ho. And of course, we look forward to your support of the Micronesia Challenge. Thank you. Thank you.